Hey up, Kirby Mercury here. Welcome to my let's play of Spelunky 2. I was going to have the webcam on, but I was having technical problems and basically it was either the webcam or the game. I opted for the game. I could figure out, but I just wanted to play the game really bad. Anyways, it just came out on PC first day and I just woke up. That's why I'm probably better off without the webcam anyways. This is my first movement. I was like, oh, it seems a lot faster than I expected, but then I remember the auto run is on. Oh, well, it's been 15 years since my last entry, so much has happened since I escaped the cave of Olmec with this treasure. Tian and I become parents. We named our daughter Anna. She's a strong kid and a natural explorer. Okay, let's change the auto run. Even though... I could probably get used to this just because I didn't play Splunky 1 that much. But let's... Just go with what I'm used to. Default movement, walk, stick off, toggle the right stick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll leave that like that. Might as well with medium. And let's get into the game. I was getting a little bit freaked out because there was no sound for a second. It was just part of the game. The dreams began when Anna turned five. In the dream, I'd look out the window at the full moon and see Olmec's face in it. I tried to ignore it. I mean, we all saw Olmec sink into that link of lava, didn't we? I definitely saw that. I probably should have actually listened to the tutorial. Okay, teach us to whip. Teach us to throw. It looks so much more like HD and clean than the first game. I probably should not have skipped that. They're trying to teach me a long run. Put a bomb down. It was hard to say goodbye. Part of me wishes we brought Anna with us. She loves space. And we keep wanting to show her things in the ship. At least she has Monty to keep her company. Get some ropes. Dude, it looks so good kill these guys that aren't real teaching us about water I don't think we can drown I feel like I have the sound effects can turn completely off because I don't hear my character at all oh yeah that is indeed a fact That's a lot better. It's unbelievable. There's a giant Olmec on the surface of the moon and a cave, a feeling of deja vu swept over us. And we were drawn toward the entrance like iron filings to a magnet. A voice is calming to us. Is it Olmec or something else? I keep thinking I have the webcam on, but I don't. Let's continue. I just want to start a run. But yeah, I've watched like a lot of this game. <laughs> so I have a, 
a lot spoiled for me. Which is completely fine with me. We've been in the moon for what feels like many months already. But it's hard to tell. Just like before. Time and death work differently here. It feels like we've slipped into another cla <laughs> crack in the universe. Like a cave of Olmec. Like the clay... I cannot read. Like the cave of Olmec connected to it, perhaps. But also bigger, much bigger. I just want to play the game, not read. It's not why I'm on Play Splunky 2. Check our journal. Just remember what we taught you. And you'll be fine. This journal is yours now. Make the most of it, and we'll see you soon. Despite the game using its own words to tell me what ha just happened, and me just ignoring that, it's so beautiful. Basically, her parents went to the moon to go investigate the Olmec thing, and I'm assuming search for treasure because that's what they do. And left her behind and now she, her parents have been missing so she's like i'm gonna go get my parents and we're gonna be a family together again but first we gotta get through like 300 deaths i was gonna like say oh yeah this is my first run and i was all excited and stuff but then I just started jumping around like a jackass and got myself hurt. I got a journey intro. Journey. Journal entry. I, I just woke up. Sorry. <laughs> we all have one inside of us and yet they're still spooky. It is true. Okay, we cannot reach that man. Much larger than the household variety. Don't let it get the drop on you. I swear to God, I'm not drunk. Like I said, I just woke up. That's why we here to be killing. <sighs> if this wasn't my first run, I would totally restart right now. You know what? Never mind. Okay, that was just an extension of the tutorial. This is the real first run. Okay, well we can't really get go anywhere other than down, so. Well, we could bomb, but. No thank you, not right now. First time encountering this enemy. I really had to pause it just to say that seemed important. Okay, there's our Monty friend. Can this man, will this man aggro when I'm down here and he's up there? I guess not. Like I said, I've watched a lot of gameplay of this from people I like watching, but definitely does not compare to actually playing it for yourself. Okay, we've actually completed the first level. I know I'm speaking too soon. So the thing with these ghost jars is there's a diamond inside of it, but when you break it, the ghost comes. So let's do that. Let's just at least like get a glimpse of the ghost. There he is. That's him. We're leaving. First floor complete. I didn't even see that arrow trap and I don't know how the hell it didn't hit me. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I saw that earlier and just like ignored it when I went down there. What the hell is that? 
I did not know that. When you are on the ledge and you whip, I really should have kept that with me. Also, didn't expect to get stuck down here. Oh, it has a little Monty on the whip. I mean, rope. Son of a bitch. Okay, this is the real first run. The only way to get this man is to descend. Here, hold on. I was trying to hit the frickin' bone thing. I'm determined to do this. Hold on. Let's see. I might end up dying, but... It friggin' worked. I really didn't think it was gonna work when I threw it because I missed completely. Okay. All that just for... A slight shortcut that I probably would have been faster if I just went the long way. We have not been in a secret passage yet. Not so secret, secret passage. Stay away from the dog. I'm gonna use a rope to get this crate, which is a jet pack. Okay, that was like an amazing surprise. Okay, this is the run. This is the run we go all the way to the end. I didn't realize. Okay, put it in there. Basically, I tried whipping. While I was holding the dog, which didn't work at all, but in the end, we're fine. It's not how you do that. So the deal with this guy is he likes turkeys. For fuck's sakes. Got too excited by seeing Turkey Man for the first time. And the deal with turkeys is you get on them, they're wild, but then you stay on them long enough, they become tamed. You bring them to this dude. I don't know how to get off the turkey though. That's probably a problem. Okay, you just press up and jump, okay. Um, he needs one more turkey. Ugh! Oh, I don't wanna... Oh, there's the turkey, okay. I don't wanna lose this run while I have... We could get to the shopkeeper's stuff. Okay, we've done the turkey. Let's let's go on his and not the shopkeepers, even though I'm assuming the shopkeepers is gonna be more valuable. There's two crates in here. Don't mind if I do. Also, I'm taking this rock. Okay, don't touch the ghost pot. Let's just leave and hopefully with Monty because The cavemen in this game are too much. Mostly because of the cuteness. Where is the dog? I would prefer to change the dog into a, a cat, which I'll do soon enough. I don't know where he is though. Didn't remember I was holding the rock. We're gonna run out of time at some point. Also, the other thing is, you can kill the turkeys for HP. But, there he is. Please don't fall on the spikes. I'm scared. Okay, let's just get the dog and leave. And we'll worry about the turkey later. 
Well, not later, but on a different run. Okay, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. See you later. We don't need anything in the shop. I don't know why he's... Has all his items hoarded like that? Did I throw a rock at him by accident? There's a chance I've aggroed the shop. Keep. See, the thing is... Like in the last game, there's a alternate, more difficult path where you have to take the like pieces of the puzzle. And um, gather them and... That's the second jetpack. I need something to throw down there, and I don't really want it to be Monty, but it's probably going to be. Okay, it's already been set off. I think the other one's been set off as well, but I'm not risking my life. I'll risk the dog. Oh. Okay, you're coming with me. We're probably sacrificing you. Even though I need the HP, but it's fine. So another thing is, uh, there's so much, this game's so much. Please, okay. Oh, he went in the exit. I would love to buy the shotgun, but there's no way I can do anything. Because, I don't wanna aggro the shopkeeper. If I set the arrow trap off, he's gonna get it. And he will blame us. Despite me really wanting to buy the shotgun, I don't think I even have enough money anyways. But yeah, the thing I was gonna say about the pieces of the puzzle to get the hard ending First of all, I don't even know. I only know one place that it leads to, or well, two places. I don't, but I don't know the like the actual end game. Fudge, just run, just run, just run. So there's no point in me making my life more difficult just to try to do that. I'd rather just try and win the game and not even worry about that stuff at all. And same with the uh, shop shopkeeper. I don't really want to. Um, bother with that either. I would like killing this man because he has stuff inside him that I want. Okay, now we have both routes opened. I'm just gonna take this rock and keep throwing it at him until he's dead. Fuck! Well, it worked. Kind of. Didn't expect him to be that fast. We'll do one more run. And then end the video. But yeah, kind of in my head how I want to play the game is I, I'm not going to worry about the secret stuff for now until I know how to actually get to the very end of it. And I'm probably not going to aggro shopkeepers because this is risky. I watched like an interview with Derek Yu and he was saying... Oh my god, this... Ugh, that was a scary jump. He was saying the... It's probably more viable... Sorry, Monty. To not aggro the shopkeepers and just buy stuff. <sighs> Tried landing on that. I also don't know how... Okay. 
You know what? I was gonna quick restart. Hold on, let's see. Why does it say don't confirm? Whatever. Okay, now we can change the pet. The cat. And we can restart. Even though that wasn't terrible, but... And also this was supposed to, that was supposed to be my last run. One kill a mole. That almost worked. I didn't realize I was holding the rock. I heard the cat. I see the cat. Hmm, I think it's better off We're better off if we approach it from underneath That really worked Oh, he scared me now he's dead. He scared me, but also he's not dead Okay, it's time for some risky jump Oh. You're dead. Uh, I was gonna drop the cat so that. Never mind, I dropped it by accident. Okay, it's not worth getting. going back up there just to get a rock, so let's go. Just leave. There goes my pot. So yeah, when you stand on a ledge. What a crappy. Oh, there's a, a ladder there, okay. When you stand on a ledge like this, you'll drop your item. Which is kind of weird, but it was in the first game as well, so I'm not going to besmirch it. I'm. Assuming there's like a reason, it just wants to punish you for standing on the ledge for whatever reason. How much money do I have? 6,100. Oh my, I have no, how the fuck did that happen? I guess I somehow s tripped him. I saw the cat, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, he's, he's in a good spot. Oh my god. Since we're up here, we'll buy some bombs. And some more bombs. And you know what? Some rope. Where was the cat? Okay. Oh my god, I almost landed on the spikes. And scare the crap out of me. Okay, let's just get the thing because we can see gems, even though I said I wasn't going to worry about it. And I really just want to try it for the first time anyways. See, the thing is, I kind of, for curiosity's sake, want to see what happens when you bomb this. I wanted to see if there's anything inside of it, because I don't know that I've seen anyone do it. There was not, but it did make a noise. And that in itself was enough. To warrant doing it. There we go. Did not mean to whip the cat. Come along. Okay. But yeah, in the last run where the cat didn't go in, or the dog, whatever it was. I walk, usually when you walk past the door. Okay. 
it just automatically puts the dog in, which it did that time. Okay, let's get on this turkey. That is an arrow trap, and that's a another thing. I don't want to go that way. Turkey gives you double jump. They also do something else that's fun. Mm. <laughs> Which I would kind of like to do. You know what? Let's try something. Okay. I have, I have enough resources. Where's Turkey Man? No Turkey Man? Today I will not be bringing you tur turkeys, but I will be stealing your turkey. Oh my god, okay, I didn't know he would aggro. I didn't know he didn't like his turkey stolen. But come, come down here so I can jump on your head. Come up here so I can jump on your head. Use the ladder. Use the ladder. Use the ladder. Or just walk there. Come on. Come on. Got him. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Ah. Oh. My plan was to steal the turkeys and then blow them all up for HP. Anyways, <laughs> I'll be back with another one. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And have a very lovely evening. Good night.